Now let's do a quick review and I'll point to it and you name it. Then I'll give it some time and um, I'll name it after you. Let's start on the abdomen and name this white line. Linea alba. The muscle, on, muscle straps on either side of the white line. There and there. Rectus abdominis. The slanted muscles going in at a slant on the outside. Name those. External obliques. Now if I peel those back and I look underside and I see slanted muscles moving upward here and you can see them spanned out there and you can see the striations very nicely. Name that muscle. That's the internal oblique. Then going from the edge of the internal oblique all the way over to that first muscle, rectus abdominis muscle, going across right there. Name that muscle. Transverse abdominals. Now we could actually peel back these internal obliques, but generally when people do that, they go into the abdominal cavity and make a mess. So we don't want to do that. Well, let's move to the chest and do the same thing here. Let's name some muscles. I'm going to start with this muscle. Pectoralis minor. Now let's do this muscle. Pec major. Okay, pectoralis major. This little muscle on the side, nicely cut out, nicely seen here. Clavobrachialis. Uh, now the neck muscle, which is separated by the trachea and is bordered on either side by the external jugular vein. Sternomastoid. Let's look at the head muscles now. Review those. Get the camera to focus on that a little bit. There we go. The big round muscle. Temporalis. Muscle on the cheek. Masseter. Let's name the glands while we're here. Name that gland. That's the parotid gland. And name that gland. Mandibular gland. Okay. We may end up doing those little muscles. We'll see in class whether or not we do this. Okay. Now for the muscles of the shoulder. That looks good. We can get almost all the muscles right there. Oh, we can get all of them right there. Name this muscle first. Clavotrapezius. Then this muscle. Acromiotrapezius. In this muscle, spinotrapezius. It comes to a point and name that muscle that it goes to. Spinodeltoid. This muscle, which passes under, you can think of it like coming from the acromiotrapezius to this one. See, it's pointing to it underneath there. That's the acromiodeltoid. Now, the one on top, the little strap that pulls forward, name that muscle. Levator scapulae. Probably more correctly pronounced levator scapulae, but wouldn't think of it like elevator. Now let's do the muscles of the arm, upper arm, this big muscle on the back. Name it. Dorso epitrochlearis. Then this muscle. Long head of the triceps brachii. This one. Lateral head of the triceps brachii. Now let's do uh, just again the little muscles of the arm because you need lots of practice with that. The first little muscle right here is the brachioradialis. Second little muscle right here, extensor carpi radialis longus. Third little muscle, extensor carpi radialis brevis. Fourth little muscle. Extensor digitorum communis. Fifth little muscle. Extensor digitorum lateralis. Sixth little muscle. Extensor carpi ulnaris. Number seven. Flexor carpi ulnaris. And then the last muscle back here. Palmaris longus. Back strap muscle. Latissimus dorsi. Move to the leg and review those. There we go. Pull this, up, pull this muscle down. Let's name it first since it's here. 
biceps femoris. The one sneaking a peek there on the back, semitendinosus. One on the front of that biceps femoris, right there. Cardofemoralis. Nice big muscle right here. Nice big muscle. Gluteus maximus. Strap muscle on the front of the leg. Sartorius. Pull this down because that's part of the name. This little muscle right here that's connected to this white fascia. Tensor fascia lata, and then the fascia lata itself. Okay, pull that out of the way and name that nerve. Sciatic nerve. Now let's do the muscles of the lower leg. That's good. First muscle, tibialis anterior or tibialis cranialis. Either one is fine with me. You choose. Then our next one, right there, extensor digitorum longus. Now let's do these two muscles here. The short one first, right there. Good, peroneus brevis, and then its brother, <laughs> peroneus longus. And then the big muscle right there, gastric nemius. And then peeking out, the little tongue muscle underneath that is kind of shredded here. The soleus. Now we're going to turn to the inside and name those last two muscles. Right there, that's absolutely perfect. Let's name this one before, we've already named it. Sartorius, and then this one. Gracilis. Now those are the muscles you have to know for your mink practical. With a few other features like the linea alba and the glands and the trachea and the external jugular vein and the sciatic nerve. And you should do very well. Good luck.